Hi everyone, Soft Sound Whispers here. Um, yeah, so this is new for me. I've, um, I've never had my face on any of my videos before. I've only been posting videos for a couple of weeks. Um, but for a long time I wasn't sure whether I wanted to be seen or not. Um, and I'm still not 100% <laughs> on it. I think I'm going to see how this looks once it's done. Um, but the reason that I'm doing it is because I've had quite a few suggestions to do guided visual visualisations, which is indeed something that I really enjoy on YouTube. And um, I think most evenings I'm searching out new ones. And um, I think there are lots that are really good that you don't see anything. Um, because obviously you should have your eyes closed realistically for them. Um, but I think Lilium Candidums, or, or the one Lilium as she's known as now, they're my favourites. And <clears throat> although you can't see her, or you have your eyes closed or you're not looking, um, in her guided visualisations, when she's in them with you, or with me, I can see her face and that really helps sort of with the whole experience because she's got a nice face <laughs> so um so I figured if I was to do sort of the same then you'd need to have a an image really to assist you with the guidance so here I am um I'm just going to be answering a few questions about myself I haven't been tagged because nobody really knows me so um I've decided to use some questions that other people have used. The first time I had these were Wolfberry Whispers and he got them from Kiwi Whispers and they're quite a set of different questions so I quite like them. I had a quick read through them but I haven't rehearsed anything so I might get stuck on a few things. Um, I'm going to be drinking some tea. I'm a big tea fan. So I'll show you my cup and my saucer. And this is my amazing teapot. Which I have an obsession with. I have quite a few obsessions. Tea and teapots and teacups are definitely one of them. So I thought we could have a chat today. A bit one-sided, it'll just be me talking. Um, while well, I have a cup of tea, but it's really hot, so... Okay. I'll let that cool down. I'm drinking Voibus, which is a South African red bush tea today. Because it's got no caffeine. And, um, today's Sunday. Days of chill day. So, um, the first question is what is your favourite food when you were a child? Mine would definitely be my godfather's spaghetti bolognese. He's an ex chef. It's the only thing I can ever think he's ever cooked me, to be honest. Um, but I love, I really love that. It's really, really good. Um, so, yeah, spaghetti bolognese. Um, the first most played song on my iPod. I think it would probably be one of the Porter's Head. Like, I'm a big Porter's Head fan, and I've been listening to Porter's Head for years and years and years. So definitely, be Porter's Head, I think that would have racked up quite a few plays over the years. Um, what is one of my favourite quotes? I should have rehearsed that really. Um, I think it's the Marilyn Monroe one. If, don't quote me exactly on it. It's um, if you don't like if you don't like me at my worst, then you don't deserve me at my best. I think that's quite true for quite a lot of things. Um, my favourite indoor activity. I'm a big crafter. I love sewing. I sew. Ah, no, it's got to be cooking but I like cooking chutneys. I make a lot of chutneys and a lot of jams. Um, 
So yeah, that would probably be my favourite indoor activity. Outdoor activity. Gardening. Yeah, because that's what I do. If I had a choice, if I was younger, I'd be, it would be climbing trees. But um, I think I'm a bit too old to climb trees now. <laughs> I haven't done for a while. Um, what chore do you absolutely hate doing? <clears throat> my laundry room is underneath the house so you have to go outside and down um, and because I work obviously so it's usually the evenings that I do the um, laundry and I'm still a bit scared of the dark so I hate going down to the laundry room I think that's probably the worst thing but I actually do like doing laundry <laughs> just not at night what's my favourite form of exercise? Just, I think, walking and exploring, <clears throat> going to new places and yeah, going on walks, I suppose. It would be tree climbing <laughs> if I was able to. Um, what's my favourite time of day? Well, this is a ridiculous one. Um, my favourite time of day would definitely be morning. But I never get up early morning if I, you know, Unless I'm going to work, which then you don't enjoy it. If I have a day off, I get up at like 10, 11. So the morning's finished. But if, and every time that I do get up early, I think to myself, this is great. You should get up early every morning. Get so much more done. But then when, on the day when I wake up, I just can't, can't get up. Useless. <laughs> um, my favourite day of the week is Thursday, because... Thursday you know the weekend's coming <clears throat> and Thursday is usually the day that I sort of finalise my plans it finally feels like it's close you know you've only got that day and then the Friday and then it's Saturday and Sunday Saturday I get a panic because I think the weekend's nearly over and then Sunday is just depressing because you know that you've got to work the next day <laughs> so Thursday's good because it's lots of things to look forward to on a Thursday <laughs> Um, month of the year has to be December. Christmas, I love Christmas. So I love the whole feel of the month when you get going, you start planning your decorations. I make all of my Christmas decorations pretty much, so it's a very crafty time of the year for me. Um, and with my work, I don't work too, you know, very hard over this winter at all, so I have a lot of time at home. So, it's great. Um, what's my least favourite mode of transportation? Motorbikes. Um, a friend, yeah. My dad had a motorbike and a friend of mine had a motorbike and I just, every time I get on one, I'm thrilled by it, but it does scare me. So, I just don't feel safe. I can't enjoy it because I'm just petrified. So I think it would have to be motorbikes. But if it's like public transport, then it's got to be buses. I hate buses. <laughs> Who enjoys buses? Um, what's my favourite body part? Okay, if it was somebody else's body part, like a, a body part on a human, then I like hair. Um, I love. I think hair defines a person. And I quite like it's a bit odd, I know. Um, if it was my, but what's my favourite? My favourite body part. I'm really happy with my skin. I like my skin. I think that's something I have to thank my family for. <laughs> um, what sound do I love? Well, I'm in the whispering community with a big thing for ASMR, so. <clears throat> quite a few different sounds. I think my favourite sound has to be water running though, like a stream. But yeah, like a really gentle, I love that. Ow, I've got that so. Um, if I could throw any kind of party, what would it be like and what would it be for? I'm not married, and I don't think I'll be getting married soon, um, either, 
So, not necessarily the actual getting married, but the having all your family and friends there, like everyone that you hold dear to you. I think that would probably be the best kind of party. But then, without the stress of it being a wedding, because I can't imagine I'd ever enjoy the wedding day. I'd be freaking out about, do we have enough alcohol? Or, you know, my family drink. <laughs> um, who's going to get in a fight? <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> um, if I could paint a picture of a senior I'd seen before. That's a tough one. I've seen lots of pretty places. No, do you, um, it would be my grandmother's garden. Um, unfortunately, both my grandparents passed away and they had this amazing house in Surrey, in England. Beautiful house with this amazing garden. I'd paint that because I can still remember the smell of the... They had a big eucalyptus tree and rose beds and wood chips in the beds to stop the weeds coming up and and fir trees and I can smell exactly what that garden smelt like and in my head I can sort of see it but it's kind of walked through child's eyes so I'd love to have a I'd love to see what it would look like I don't think I've seen any in my mum's pictures um if you could stay a certain age forever what would it be to be honest, I'm pretty happy now. Um, yeah, the, the awkward teens have gone and, you know, I've got my career and... So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. This, I think this is probably the happiest I've been so far. But I'm still quite young, so... If maybe the 30s are even better. But at the moment, from what I've experienced, 25, 26 is a pretty good age. Um... If I knew that the world was ending in 2012, what would I do differently? Well, I guess I'd sell my house, sell everything, um, and I'd go, I'd use the money to go and visit, I mean there's no point giving it to a charity because the world's ending, so I guess you have to do selfish things with it and stuff for your friends and family, so. I'd make sure that I'd go and visit everybody and I'd definitely call a lot more people than I do because I'm pretty useless at keeping in contact. I keep in contact with my closest friends but cousins and things, you know, you sort of just let it slip and you just, oh yeah, I'll see you at the next funeral or the next wedding, next christening. But it's always a few years in between so I'd probably make sure that I uh, visited everybody. If I could choose anyone, who would you pick as your mentor? Um, the one I already have, my mum. She is amazing. She is an inspiration to me. So I definitely just keep, keep it being her. Um, if I could witness an event past, present or future, what would it be? That's a really difficult one. I don't know. And it would take me far too long to think of something. <laughs> if I could listen to anything, if I could learn anything, sorry, what would it be? To fly. Like, if I could figure out how to fly, <laughs> then that would definitely be that. That would be amazing. Um, if I could, if I had to work on only one project for the next year, what would it be? something within my actual reaches. Um, I've just started this project. To me, this is a, a project, something that I care hugely deep, you know, massively about. Um, I got into whispering, I heard of the whispering community, sort of stumbled across my first video last year. And it's just helped me so much, not even because I had problems sleeping, but just calming down and not lying in bed having everything run through your head and um, just finding ways of ch 
chilling out a lot easier and having something to look forward to and this making videos for you guys and because it's also for myself it's gives me it's giving me something to do that I'm having to think outside the box and I'm really enjoying it so I think this is something that I want to do for a while and see how it goes <laughs> can't really go anywhere with it but um, so I'm enjoying it it's enjoyable I highly suggest it to any of those of you out there who are fans of whispering and ASMR videos and are thinking about doing it because I certainly was for a year um, if I could be immortal for a day, what would I do? I suppose the correct thing to say would be to go and volunteer at a fire station and um, you know, go in and try and help people. I don't think there are that many fires, though. So spend a whole day doing that, but I don't know. Realistically, it would be something to help people with. But if it was just like a leisurely thing, then I'd probably do a skydive because I'm a bit too chicken to do it, not being immortal. My brother skydives constantly, like all the time. Um, in Russia and all around Eastern Europe, and it just petrifies me. Um, and I had the I had the opportunity to do it in New Zealand, and I couldn't couldn't do it so I'll probably do that knowing that I can't die but even then I still think I probably wouldn't do it it's the you, you hear these stories about people having heart attacks on theme park rides and things well that would be me I'm sure of it and I used to be able to go on all kinds of things as a child and as soon as I became a teenager I've been unable to do anything well I'm not a teenager now but absolutely unable to do anything Um, if I had to change my first name, what would I change it to? I wouldn't. I like my first name. Um, if you could meet anyone living or dead, who would you meet? Well, I'm not interested in celebrities or anyone. Um, royals, not really. Um, I would really like to pick the brain of Stalin. He just fascinates me. Stalin, Stalin. Um, yeah, I've read several books about him and his, his mind frame and I just don't get it. I want to see like what's going on behind there because I don't think anyone knew. Um, yeah, so probably him, I think. It's a little bit dark. This was a nice one to open my grandmother. I'd, I've met her before, but she's dead. I'd like, I'd like to see her again. Um, if I won the lottery, what would be the first thing I did? Well, literally, in a literal sense of things, I would probably faint or scream and run around my house dancing, flailing my arms around the air, around in the air. Um, the first thing I'd do with the money once it was in my bank, I think by the time the money would get to clear, I would have decided how much I'm giving to everybody. Because uh, if you win the lottery, you'd have to share it out, I think. I'd have to give my mum some, my uncle some. Not my rich uncle, but my poor uncle. <laughs> you know, my brother. I mean, if, if it was several million, you've got enough to buy a lot, few people houses, you know? Or at least pay off their mortgages. I don't think I'd need much. It would be great to win the lottery, but I've, in the industry that I work in, you very quickly learn that money doesn't bring you happiness at all. In fact, quite the contrary. I've met so many billionaires and millionaires that are so deeply unhappy in their life. And sort of, I'm... Um, looking after them in a sense and uh, I'm happier doing my job than they are sat being rich in the most beautiful places in the world so 
just goes to show that money can't bring you happiness. Um, plus you read all those stories in the news about who won that much money and they've spent it all and now they've got nothing and they're bankrupt again. How does that happen? I'm yeah, just not very clever with it. <laughs> Um, if I were reincarnated as an animal, my mum seems, my mum always says that I remind her of like an annoying bird. <laughs> it's always tapping on her window after food. It's probably a little finch or a sparrow or something. Um, if I was a drink, tea. I'd be tea. Um, if I was an ice cream flavour, I don't even know how to to answer that. I don't know. Um, if you could know the answer to any question besides what is the meaning of life, what would it be? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to have to say something now, as I? Probably. How was the world created? Was the Big Bang Theory the correct theory? Don't know. Oh, how big's the universe? That is something I really actually want to know, so probably that. Um, if you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? Probably a hobbit. I am an avid Lord of the Rings fan. Huge. And um, oh, child, it's, I come from, in England, I come from the southwest, so it's very, um, it's rural. And uh, yeah, sort of growing up, going out to young farmers' do's and drinking cider and beer. And we have these things called barn dances. And um, we all sit on hay bales and listen to folk, like sort of not folk, sort of like country folk music, and all dance around. And it's it's just a really good big laugh. It's really good fun. And so when I see the hobbits, it reminds me so much of that. <laughs> um, and I just think it's such a nice way to live. Minus the hairy feet, though. I think I'd definitely have to wax my feet if I had hobbit feet. Um, Yeah, I'd be a hobbit. <laughs> um, so, I don't know how long this video's gone on for, but it takes quite a while to upload long videos, so I'm going to do the second part of these questions in a second video. So, if you liked this half, please watch my second half. Bye.